Hello and welcome to Stacked Columns. My name is Jeff. I'm glad you're here. Hey, let's just jump right in. Basically, I received a question that said, basically, Jeff, I have this table, this job cost table that has a ton of columns. And when I go to print, it doesn't really print, you know, very well. Uh, there's too many columns and the font is too small. So what I'd really like to do is to somehow get Excel to take each row, each data row, so each job, and sort of wrap the columns so that each data row really becomes multiple report rows with a blank row in between. All right, so of course, there's Excel, many ways to accomplish this. One way is with Power Query. So there are three basic steps. We want to define each report row. In other words, define which columns belong in each row of the report. Then we want to combine all of those, and then we want to do some formatting. So, this first process is going to be done for each report row. In this case, we want four report rows, so we're going to do the same sequence of steps four times. And it looks something like this. I select any cell on the data table, I go to data, and I select from table range. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is identify which columns belong in this report row. So in this case, I just want the job ID column only. So I remove everything else, okay? Then I go to transform and use headers as first row. What this is gonna do is it's gonna create consistent column labels um, so that Excel knows how to stack everything up accordingly. And then I'm gonna go to add column, index column. You could go with from zero or from one, whichever one you pick, just make sure you do the same one for each of these steps. And then I'm gonna add a custom column and I'm gonna call my custom column row and, and Power Query is case sensitive, so whatever label you use, just make sure you use the same exact label. And this is gonna be row one, so I click okay. And now I'm gonna call this row one, okay? And these index and row columns, these are gonna be used to group all the rows and sort them the way that we want. So then I'm gonna go to close and load two and now I want to send this into a connection only query and click OK. So that's report row one. Now we define which columns go into report row two. So we do the same sequence of steps. From table range, in this second report row, I want everything from owner all the way to bill type. So I hold down shift, select that, and then I just remove everything else. Okay. Then I'm going to transform and use headers as first row. This is gonna create consistent column labels so that Excel knows how to line everything up. Then I'm gonna add my index column from one. I'm gonna add a custom column and this will be called row. And this is our second row. So I click okay and I'm gonna call this row two. Now I can close and load two a connection only query and click OK. Okay, we do the same set of steps for the third report row. So from table range. And this time I want everything from current hours to percent budget. So I hold down shift, select that. I remove everything else. Now, by the way, this is a percent column. So if we want to you know, specify percentage format and send that into Excel so that that format sort of um, is retained. Then what I can do is I can actually convert this into a text cell and that way the format will be retained. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to transform standard multiply. So I'm gonna multiply this by 100 and click okay. And now I need to round it as desired, I'm gonna round it to whole numbers. And then I'm going to add a suffix, which is my percent, click okay. Now this is a text string, so this format will hold when it gets into Excel. Once this is done, now I can use headers as first row. I can add an index from one and add a row which is row three, and I will call this row three. Let's go ahead and close and load two. 
a connection only query, click OK. Now the fourth row is really just that blank row. So I'm going to go ahead and from table range, I'm going to add my index from one, I'm going to add a custom column, and this is going to be called row. This is row four, I click OK. And these are the only two that I want in this case. I want to remove everything else. So I select these two columns and I remove other columns. Okay. I'm going to call this row four and close and load two. And again, we're going to go with a connection only query and click OK. Now that I've defined each of the report rows and I've pick the columns that I want to appear in each report row. Now I have to combine those. The way that we do that is get data, combine queries, append. Here we're going to append three or more tables. So I pick row one, two, three, and four, and click OK. And since we have those consistent column labels, everything gets lined up accordingly. And now what we need to do is just sort by index first and then by row, and then we just delete index and row. So I select those columns and remove. And I think we got it. Let's go ahead and close and load two, and we're gonna send this into a table in a new worksheet and click OK. And I think we're pretty close here. Let me actually insert a column. I can insert a few rows. I could create a fancy, you know, header here, the job cost report, whatnot. Um, but now let's just go ahead and do some, some formatting here. Uh, for example, maybe I want to remove this header row. Maybe I want to apply a bold font to these, you know, to these headers. Um, maybe I want to take off banded rows and turn on banded columns. That's fine. Uh, maybe I want to center all this stuff. That looks good. Uh, maybe I actually want to apply a format cells. Maybe we want to go with number, no decimals, comma. And you notice that doesn't mess up our percentages because we sent those through as text strings. Uh, and you know, maybe you want to do some type of table style. So you can look through here, pick anyone you know that looks good to you. Maybe let's just go with this one. And, and basically we have it. And now next period, if there are more you know, jobs or more data rows, all we really need to do is right click and refresh and everything will, will come in uh, and, and update accordingly. Okay, cool. Hey, hope this helps. Have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University.